So if you looked at a bacteria that might cause a disease such as tuberculosis, it may have some proteins that it specifically uses to cause infection. And if we can determine a bit more information about that protein, we can perhaps develop new antibiotics to help combat that disease. To an organism such as a large organism like ourselves, proteins are there to do a job. So they can form all sorts of structures like the skin, the hair, or they can be there as little um, machines that run around your body doing a specific task. So in bacteria it's similar. Proteins inside a bacterial cell are there to do a specific task. If you can um, use techniques so that you can actually form a picture of what this protein looks like. Like, so if you can know what its structure looks like, its, um, its makeup, its shape, its dimensions, then you might also know a little bit more about how it does its job. It's a very visual technique. A lot of the work that you might do in the lab involves small solutions that are all clear in colour and there's often not a lot to actually tangibly see or put your hands on. But um, when you're working with proteins, there's a lot more that's in your hands and when you achieve what you're trying to, um, to set out to achieve, then you've actually got something visual to work with. You can create cartoon images of, of what it is you're working with and they're easy to uh, present to people um, and it's easier for people to get a good understanding of what's going on.